Hi loves, welcome to Ask a Little Witch. My name is Kerry and this is your monthly insight into April of 2019. As I said in my previous monthlies monthly, um, I am going to be trying some different things out. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. And without further ado, let's jump into what this month has in store for you. Pisces, suns, moons and rising signs for April. Okay, so I actually feel like there's a lot of people around you this month. I mean, hello. <laughs> you know, um, I feel like everyone's trying to get your attention for something. Okay, this is the Knight of Wands. This is like a fire sign man or woman, depending on who's listening to, to this uh, video. Um, so a fire sign woman would be a Leo, an Aries, a Sag, or someone who just has that confidence, that exuded, like they kind of exuberate this charisma, right? Someone who's very fun, life and soul of the party, very loud, proud, you know, very much captivates the room. And then we have the Knight of Cups, Mr. Romantic, the White Knight, right? This could be a Scorpio, another Pisces, another water sign, um, a Cancer. Um, it's someone who's like a little bit more softer in nature, okay? So there's like polar opposites. There's water and fire, okay, that's going on here. And the Knight of Cups usually is an offer of love. You know, someone who, you know, has some sort of, you know, romantic interest in you. And then we have this one. Now, this doesn't have to just be about romance. This can also be about friendships as well. But there's this idea of a new relationship about to enter. And at the same time, we have the Knight of Wands. So this could be you meeting someone through a trip. You know, the Wands, the Knight of Wands, I always associate it with travel. Um, I associate it with um, work as well you know this could be meeting someone through work this could be a foreigner this could be someone who is just a little bit exotic a little bit different you know when I think of like the knight of wands what I see is like you know like just someone who's like latin you know whether it is you know a latino whether it is someone who's mexican or spanish or portuguese or italian or even greek someone who's got that kind of I don't know, like someone who's just a little bit different, okay, that's coming in. So I feel like there's two offers being given to you, two offers. There's an offer of love and there could also be an offer of work, you know. But this one is very like fast paced, you know. They see what they like, they go in for the kill and it's like go, go, go. This one's a little bit more slower to act. But then if we look at the message for love, it says love yourself first. It says your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. This is about you getting into your good place. It isn't, I don't feel like necessarily making any single decision because with the Hermit card, the Hermit card very much is, is kind of like you're still, you're still searching for something, okay? You're still on the path of great change and transformation in yourself. Okay, and obviously the death card coming up, I don't want anyone to like fret or to fear this, okay, because it's nothing to be scared of. Death is just a part of life and it doesn't actually very rarely represent physical death, but it does suggest a big change that's happening in your life. And it's just starting to kind of hit home now in the month of April, right? This could be you starting a new work, you starting a new relationship perhaps, you starting a new a new lifestyle you know the hermit is kind of like he's wise i don't know why but i always associate him with virgo you know someone who's a little bit more wise a little bit more practical in nature you know going your own way lighting your own path this is somebody who's got their shit together usually you know it's about organizing certain situations this could very well be a change in regards to your lifestyle a change in regards to your immediate environment your working environment even and that in and of itself is leading you to this little horseman an offer of love and also at the same time where it is that you're like searching for is a change in regards to maybe your career or your vocation this month. What I will say is with the whip and then also the snake, there could be some very, I mean, the whip can be associated with sexual energy. Okay, so I would actually advise against with the porcupine as well and Saturn, advise against any sort of spare of the moment hookups. I don't feel like that's going to be fulfilling for you. Okay, just FYI. But, um, Aside from that being a sexual card, it can also be a card of arguments, okay? Difficult, 
I mean, it's a Martin number 11. This is some sort of serious things getting real, like real deep, real raw conversation happening. Okay, something that's coming about. Um, some, yeah, like it's, it's real. And this is information. So, you know, there's a snake and the snake is almost like, you know, breaking that cycle, breaking that pattern. You know, there's lots of apples on here. Apples are, well, I associate apples with like witchcraft. Um, but it doesn't have to be that. It can represent knowledge and wisdom and the need to kind of shed an old skin and not be afraid of changing that. You know, the way in which you appear, your physical appearance, your health, your well-being, you know, your everyday lifestyle is shifting. Okay, you're changing, you're moving in the direction of further love. And yes, this might have something to do with the vocation that you're on or the career that you work within. This could be like a surprising information that comes about, unexpected information, a new opportunity or an offering that's coming for you. Um, I mean, the snake is, it, it does have that sneakiness or this cunningness. And so that's why in some ways, in some ways, because it does have venom, like it can poison you, it can like stop you in your tracks, but it also is definitely, um, it's very representational of, you know, that what goes around comes around sort of situation. It is very representational of shedding one's skin and transformation. You've already got that with the death card here. You know, something is ending, something is ending, but you're beginning this new path. And this new path is going to lead you to greater joy and fulfillment. But there's almost like a need to have this, this unexpected transformational conversation that's going to change things for you. Um, this could be something being revealed as well. Now, the porcupine is, you know, I mean, the thing that always like stands out for me with the porcupine is um, it reminds me of in that, uh, what's it called? In Fantastic Beasts, that Harry Potter spin-off. Um, there's that creature called the Niffler, who's like attracted to like lots of shiny objects. This card just reminds me of that. And I always say it every time it comes up, it really does remind me of that. And so maybe the path here isn't just about you being, you know, attracted to what's shiny and, you know, trying to like get things, you know, like lock things down immediately. It really is about self care and self love. You know, the porcupine actually doesn't have fantastic eyesight and it really has to rely on all of its other senses in in survival, okay? And it is a number 48 and the number 48 for me represents obviously the four is stability. This is your security. This is your foundation of which you're still kind of establishing that, I feel like in April. And then the eight represents change, okay? We've already got that here. The change that's coming and then 8 9 10 11 12 if you add them together is all about you making a decision or a or a commitment that is going to create a new shift a new movement for you okay now the card the planetary energy card that we have for you is saturn and right now in the cosmos saturn is in capricorn and capricorn is actually supportive of you okay as a pisces you know, earth and water, they help build things, they help things to grow, but it is a slow process, okay, if you plant a seed to a tree, you know, it's going to take a little bit of time before that tree grows big and strong, right, and so looking at this as well, you know, Capricorn falls in the 11th house for Pisces, this really is in alignment with your friendships, your networks, how you're seen, you know, your hopes, your wishes, your dreams, all of that is about getting serious with yourself, with what it is that you want, what it is that you need. And it's about going your own way, not being afraid of this, not being afraid of, you know, change and transformation and saying no to something and ending something. It almost feels like you have to do you first before you're ready for this, almost. But these opportunities are very much going to be here for you for the month of April. Thank you so much for tuning in, you guys. Okay, let me know what you think of the layout of this month's monthly. I'm wishing you a fantastic April of 2019. Let me know how you get on throughout the month in the comments down below. And I will hopefully speak to you all very soon. Bye.